Hey everyone, it's CR7 here and welcome to this week's post-race thoughts and recap video from the Cookout 400 at Richmond. This one was uh, a fantastic finish. Uh, basically the whole race, uh, actually, uh, spoiler, no spoilers. Uh, if I'm a little jumpy, that means I just finished watching the race. Uh, you'll see why I'm pretty jit jittery. So I got my race notes with me. Stage one was caution free. So the stage one winner was Christopher Bell. There was no, no, nothing happening in the first stage. And during the pit stop set during the intermission of sta between stage one and two, Eric Jones got spun into his pit stall after contact by Bell. Uh, his car spun out like straight into his pit stall, but it was like he was completely sideways in his pit stall, but they still pitted the car. Stage two began at lap 81 and at lap 121, some green flag pit stops uh, occur. Some cars switch to the option tire. Yes, we have two option, two uh, tire compounds. One is the primary tire, which is just your normal uh, Goodyear slick. And the second option is a red lettered uh, tire called the option tire, which has more grip, but it doesn't last as long as the normal Goodyear tires. So just to clarify that. So then at lap 150 and through lap 178, I do believe some more pit stops and Daniel Suarez took the stage two victory on option tires. And the final stage began at lap 241. And at lap 250, Truex dives down pit road with engine issues and it turns out he was done for the night. So another engine problem for the Toyotas, I do believe. Uh, lap 280 was another round of pit stops. And then lap 332, the potential final pit stops begin. Uh, and then with two laps to go, just uh, when Austin Dillon thought he was going to win the race and complete a caution-free uh, for cause race, Ricky Stenhouse uh, over overcooks it into turn one and takes out Ryan Priest. Now, uh, I my mind instantly jumped to the conclusion that he may have did that on purpose to try to screw over Austin Dillon, but uh, that didn't work out. You'll see why. Overtime attempt one went smoothly. They got to the white flag. Joey Logano passes Austin Dillon uh, during the uh, overtime attempt. And Austin Dillon dives it into turn three. He takes out Logano. And Denny Hamlin goes on the inside to attempt to pass uh, the three. But I don't know if he came up the track or not. But Dillon takes out the 11. And Austin Dillon takes the victory at Richmond. So, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'm pretty sure he did that because he hasn't won since 2022. And also RCR was still awaiting their first victory before today. So fair game, Austin Dillon, fair game. I'm pretty sure either Logano or Hamlin would have done the same. But I didn't hear any boos when Austin Dillon climbed out of the car. So uh, maybe it was a win for the fans. But anyways, nevertheless, congratulations to Austin Dillon for winning the race. Uh, yeah. Uh best return after an olympic break ever <laughs> so anyways that's the race recap now to my personal thoughts uh, most of the race was eh, boring but the finish was wild i was i was flabbergasted well uh dylan pulled the earnhardt uh tear the bonnie at bristol thing he took he spun logano out after diving down and then hamlin i thought hamlin was going to go from third to first but I'm not sure if the 11 came up or if the three went down, but the 11 got hooked by uh, the three and put him in the wall. So, and Joey Logano post-race was heated. Uh, I'll just quote, chicken doo-doo, uh, keep it to keep it clean. Just, I'm pretty sure you know what he said. Uh, I, I'm i keeping it clean here in this, but uh, Logano did say an, an explicit uh, there, so that's why I said chicken poop. So that, yeah, you know, you, you get the point. You, you get the memo. <laughs> so what a fantastic return after two weeks of hiatus. I'm pretty sure uh, we deserve it after the Brickyard, how, how the Brickyard 400 finished. Uh, basically Pocono 2023 2.0. I bet, I think, in my opinion, is the best way to make up for uh, the previous rate if the previous race ended in a controversial fashion, uh, this this race was definitely 
uh, a a finish that we we deserved. <laughs> what an amazing finish! I hate it for the eleven. Uh, I wish he would have went won the race, but uh, Austin Dillon pulled the video game move. Uh, not necessarily riding the wall, but but taking out two cars to win the race. To be honest, I would have done the same thing if I was playing, for example, one of the EA Sports NASCAR games or NASCAR He5. I probably would have done the same thing. Because, why? Because of the video game. You can do whatever you want. So, what a fantastic way to end the race. Uh, it may be controversial for some. It may be just like, wow, what a finish for some. But this Richmond race ended way... Uh, Technically way better than the last one, despite the 11 winning the spring race under controversial fashion of him jumping the restart zone, but huh, I am speechless. Uh, congratulations to Austin Dillon and Richard Childress Racing. Uh, they did what they had to do to, to save their season before they got eliminated uh, once the regular season uh, ends at Darlington. So anyways, uh, that'll cap off this week's post-race thoughts recap video. If you haven't already, the next installment of the CR7 Fleet Car Series is up, race 2 of season 5. I uploaded it earlier today. I was going to do it yesterday, but uh, I got caught up in other things. So anyways, this caps off the uh, post-race sound to recap video. Um, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!